Good morning, family. Good morning. In fact, let me take this headphone off. All right, so you can hear me better. Hear me better. What's up, family? All right. So, today's rant. It's been a minute since I've done a rant, but I usually only do a rant when I think the time is right. I'm on my way home. This is for two. This rant is for two specific people. Uh, two specific subject matters, not people. Okay. Subject matter one. I get why people want to live in a rural area now. It, the older I get, the more I understand it, the more I respect it. Where I live at, it's overpriced, it's overpopulated, it's over everything. The one thing it's not over, it's not over fun. It's over uptight. Okay. So, with that being said, the reason why I'm making this rant today, I left the house about 45 minutes ago. It usually takes me 20 to 25 minutes, depending on traffic, to get to work. So... And I usually get in the easy pass. If you don't know what that is, it's basically you're getting on a toll road to, um, you know, some people just says toll road, fast track, Texas. You know, I've, I've been I've been on toll roads around the country between Texas, California, um, what is it, in Florida. Yeah, everybody, you know, states want to make their money, corporations want to make their money. Okay, cool. I'm not mad at it. You know, hey, it's me. I pay, I pay to play. That's the name, this name of uh, the game in this life. You have to pay to play want to pay to play then don't play at all you know relationships uh, parenthood friendships job corporate owning a business you got to pay to play all right so as i'm trying to get to work on the first easy pass slash toll road exit it's literally backed up and backed up and backed up i said okay so every, i see everybody's making a u-turn i'm like i'm gonna do it do a u-turn as well and i'm like okay I should go home and just work from home today. Call my boss, let him know what it is. I should work from home. But then I'm like, you know what? No, let me give it another shot. So I go down the road. It takes me another 10, 15 minutes to get to, maybe even 20 minutes to get to the next toll road. Get on there. It's still backed up. So I'm just like, okay, people are, it's so bad. People are making illegal U-turns going the opposite way where oncoming traffic is coming because it's that bad. And I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. It's going to take me another hour to get to work. I see it now. It ain't that serious. Okay. So I'm like, all right. There's, I know there's an area where the state police um, make U-turns because they have to get on the, on the easy pass um, in case an emergency happens and they can't get, and they're not near an exit or entrance. So anyways, long story short, I see I see that exit, that, that area where they usually um, come through at, and I see all, everybody and their mama doing a U-turn. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I gave it two shots. <laughs> I gave it two shots. I'm going home. The hell with this. It's not that serious, okay? I love my job. I appreciate everybody at my job, but this is ridiculous. Okay. So, and that, so then it just, I'm pontificating and like, okay, I get it. The words, I get it, pop in my mind. I get why people nowadays want to live in a more rural area because of the traffic and most of these major metropolitan areas, whether it's Houston, Dallas, Austin, all of Southern, all of California, all of New York City, um, the DMV area of Miami, Florida, Tampa Bay, Florida, Atlanta, Georgia, Nashville, Tennessee, Chicago, Illinois, Detroit, Michigan. You know, um, I get it. All the major cities, and even now, certain mid-sized cities are just overpopulated. Too many people. So I get why more and more people want to live in a more rural area, be able to operate their business or work from a job from home because the quality of life. Like I said, the pandemic spoiled a lot of us. We got to see what the quality of life can be like when you don't have to leave the house five days a week or six or seven days a week where you can be at the house. So this is so I commend org governments and um, corporations, small businesses that are telework friendly. I'm not condemning those who are not because in certain instances they can't be. But I just want to say kudos to you all. Thanks to you all because you understand that, hey, as long as the job gets done and my staff are, are happy, it's a good thing because then my retention rate stays um, very high. So therefore, I don't have to spend time and money on training new people and, and all that good stuff. So that's what I said. I'm looking at it from a numbers perspective. I'm not even just looking at it from a quality of life perspective. If your coworkers are happy and don't want to leave, I'm, if, I mean coworkers, if, you're, um, if your employees are happy and don't want to leave you, then that says a lot how much of a great organization and they want to work hard for you and even work overtime for you for free. As long as they can, um, the quality of life is awesome and that means they'll stay with you as long as possible. I think that's a win-win situation for anybody. So that's why I have to say kudos to them. Um, and then the second subject matter, telework. 
I get why more and more people don't mind moving to another country, taking a pay cut in order to be able to have the opportunity to telework. Because it's been a long time, like I said, because of the pandemic, it's been a long time since I've had to sit in traffic to get to work. Long time. And forgive me for my, my camera angle being bad, but I am driving. So, but yeah, it's it's been a long time that um, people... I've had an opportunity to have to go through this. So I'm just like, and this reminds me why I used to wake up at like 4.30, 4 o'clock, 4.30 in the morning um, to get to work because, the, the, you know, the traffic is just in, unpredictable. And ever since the pandemic, it's just gotten worse because the population has intensified and increased. So for me to say the heck with it, I'm going on. I mean, you see me, I'm dressed up. I was fired up and ready to go. But man, I'm just like, you know what? It's been a total of an hour since I left the house. It ain't that serious. So I'm just going to call it a day. I work from home. But that's why I understand why more and more people love having an opportunity to telework and not um, have to worry about commuting. Because, you know, when you're commuting, remember, you're stimulating the economy when you're going to work. You, you're wearing tear in your vehicle. Eventually, you're going to have to get maintenance on your vehicle. So that's fact one. Fact two. You're um, spending gas money. You're spending gas, so therefore, eventually, that means you're going to have to gas up, all right? Or um, if you have an electric car, you know, you're going to have to charge up. So that's still, that's fact two. And then fact three, eventually, you're going to have to, you're going to have to um, get down um, and buy something like water, any beverage, some sort of food, because either you didn't have time to pack your lunch and breakfast from last night, or you just want something different. So those are three things that always stimulate the economy. And then another thing to, to add on to the caveat, if you have a job where you have to pay to park, you're, making, you're enriching somebody there. You're taking tolls. That's number five. So those are the five things, nine times out of ten, you have to, um, those are five things that, um, that, you're, that you're doing to stimulate the U.S. economy. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but that's the main reason why a lot of um, local governments um, were not a big fan of telework because that was taking away from the cities. And then the, the county and the city that you reside in, they're not collecting the sales taxes on you doing these things. So that's another thing to take into consideration. So they're, they're losing money on that aspect. So everybody's losing money if you're working from home. Maybe the only people gaining the money is Amazon and Grubhub and Uber Eats or DoorDash or whoever you use. But anyways, that's my rant for the day. I'm pro people living out in the middle of nowhere because I get it now. It's like one of the most peaceful drives I've ever had in my life was when I drove from Jackson, Mississippi to Montgomery, Alabama, and then driving from, you know, because those are two rural states, so driving from those two places. And then one of the other most peaceful drives I've ever had in my life was driving from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. I totally, totally get it. So that's my rant. That's it. Um, I'm pro telework. I'm pro people living out in the middle of nowhere because at the end, because especially in 2021 or 2020 um i got to see what life can be like when the world is a lot more quiet so i get it i respect it and i'm all for it so on that note y'all have a great day do the great three free things like share and subscribe and as i always say make money moves or you're gonna live real like a fool be kind be courteous smile you might improve somebody's day you know that's another thing it's just like i'm learning to to smile more i remember what somebody said to me the other day it was on Monday. What are you smiling about? I said, well, I woke up a lot, didn't I? And they looked at me like I was a devil. I'm just like, Lord, have mercy. If you're that, I always say, if you're that miserable, shut up or get the gun and get it over with because life is too short. Smile, all right? And if somebody's going through something, I get it, but don't try to dim somebody else's life because you're going through something, all right? I understand that. I've been there, done that, but I'm never going to try to dim somebody else's life because I'm going through something, all right? So... You know, that's it. That's my rant for the day. I'm done. I'm almost at the house. And, um, you know, my dog Max would be happy to see me. But this is, yeah, this today was an eye opener. Man, like, it just tripped me out to no end. So take care, family. Be blessed. I'm out.